In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate from the SmartThings Classic app to the SmartThings new app. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. So I finally got the notice in my SmartThings Classic app that I can now migrate to the new SmartThings app. So I've been holding off on this because I know a lot of things aren't going to work right and I really didn't want to deal with all that stuff, but you have until October 14th, 2020 to do the migration or essentially they're going to do it for you. So you might as well do it and then deal with all of the issues. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it now that it gave me the option to do this and then we'll go through kind of all the issues that it's going to create and i'll do other videos on how to fix certain issues that happen to me um, so i have the um, classic app up now and you can see that i do have the smart home monitor set up here um, i have all my things and i'm pretty sure that all my things are going to transfer into the new app i do have the new app installed as well um, i got room set up here um, which will probably have to be all redone in the new app um, I do have some scenes, so I have friends are gone, friends are leaving, and dinner time. I do have a good morning routine, a good night routine, a goodbye routine, and a welcome home routine. Under the smart apps section, I have all of these smart apps here. And that should be all we need to look at in the classic app to see what happens when we move it over. And at the top of the screen, you just want to tap on the blue text that says migrate this location now. And then what it's going to do is going to tell you a little bit about the migration. So it says to complete your transition to the new SmartThings app, continue on to transfer your settings for routines, smart home monitor, and smart locks. Most of your other settings are already available in the new app. So we're just going to slide over to the right and migration will happen one location at a time. So if you do have more than one location, you're going to have to do this for each location separately. Your routines will become automations and scenes in the new SmartThings app. Also, after the migration, you can still trigger routines from your classic app, but you will not be able to edit or create routines in the classic app. One of the major steps here to get the smart home monitor to transfer, you have to disarm the smart home monitor and dismiss all incidents in your classic app. After you do migrate, the classic app will re be restricted to arming and disarming. And finally, the, if you're using the smart locks, it's renamed in the new app to smart locks guest access. After you migrate, you can still lock and unlock doors from the classic app, but you will use the new app to edit and create lock codes. So all we need to do is at the bottom here, tap on migrate now. And the first thing it's going to do is transfer the routines. We got one of four, two of four, and then it gives us a notice here. Your smart home monitor state is not being controlled by any routines that have already migrated to the new app. Please complete migration to restore this functionality. So what that's basically saying is if you have any automation set up with your smart home monitor, you're going to have to set those up in the new app because it's going to remove those. So we're just going to tap OK. All right, so now it says that the migration did not complete. There are some errors, so let's just click on the next button. And then some of the features did not migrate. Please apply recommended solutions for you back in the classic app and then retry the migration. Ensure you've migrated all locations and then start using the new SmartThings app. So we're going to click on see migration issues in classic and you can see that there's a red bar on our smart home monitor so we're going to tap on that and it has migration issues in gray here see now tap on that so it's basically saying that it's already set up in the new app if you want to transfer your settings that you have in the classic app over that you just have to delete it from the new app and then you can do the transfer and it will transfer your old settings into the new app. Now, if you did want to bring over your settings, what you would want to do is just uninstall the SmartThings Home Monitor in the new app. So if we go over to the new app, you can see that my SmartThings Home Monitor is showing up here. So if you just go over and you go to Smart Apps, 
So what we would want to do is remove the SmartThings Home Monitor in the new app. So if you tap on the three dots at the top, click on Delete, this will give you all of your smart apps that you have to the option to delete. You would just tap on Smart Things Home Monitor and tap Delete and then tap OK. So now you've deleted it from the new Smart Things app. So if you've never used the new Smart Things app, this won't be an issue because you will have not had it installed. That would be how you fix it. You just have to delete it. All right. So now if we go back over to the classic app, let's go ahead and try and transfer our settings. So we'll try again and try migrating again. And it's basically saying your smart home monitor state is not being controlled by any routines that have already been migrated to the new app. Please complete the migration to restore this functionality. So you can see only two of four of my routines actually transferred, uh, but now we did fix the smart home monitor issue. So that's completed. So let's just tap on next. All right, so now we're getting another error. So it's migration home did not complete. Um, so let's go back and look at what the issues are. Let's go to our automations, routines. Yeah, it's basically saying that my good morning and good night routine did not migrate. And the reason that is, is because I have the smart home monitor in, in that routine. So I bet you if we just delete these, let's just remove these, we can redo them in the new app, it's not a problem. All right, now let's try to migrate again and try again. All right, so everything is green now. Migration of home was successful. Just tap on the next button and it says, thank you for your support ever over the last seven years. Um, SmartThings Classic will soon be removed from the App Store. Going forward, you can continue to use Smart Home Experience in the new SmartThings app. So start using the app. Um, you would just click on get the new SmartThings app. Um, and if you already have it installed on your phone, you can just tap on open and it's going to open up over here. So if we go into our SmartThings home monitor, it did bring over all of my leak sensors. Um, let's take a look at some of the other things. Um, Smart guest lock access. Pretty sure I didn't have that installed on the, on the classic app because um, I had already set it up here before. It looks like it has my groups, which I'm just going to have to go through these and clean it up a little bit. Um, now that we're not going to be using the classic app anymore. All right, so let's go over and look at our smart apps. So it looks like all of the smart apps that I had in the classic app are here in the new app. So that is good. And let's go to scenes. So it looks like we have dinner time. Friends are gone. Friends are leaving. Um, goodbye and welcome home. I'm not sure what those are. Um, those might be the ones that were saying it wasn't going to transfer. Um, and it looks like it did transfer those, but it was just giving an error. And it was probably just because I had the smart things home monitor um, on the list here so that's good that that has um, changed the scenes look also quite a bit different now as you can see it's like a list of things that are going to happen in order and if you tap on edit um, you can add an action and it will just say okay when friends are leaving i'm going to turn on the foyer lights i'm going to turn on the front porch i'm going to turn on the driveway lights and i'm going to turn on the hallway lights um, to 50 percent and that helps your guests find their way out of your house and to their car um, and then if i want to add another action you can just choose from these two options and then choose any of your devices. So that's pretty easy. Okay, those are the scenes. And let's go over and look at the automations. So the two routines that did not transfer are the good morning and good night. Those are the ones that we deleted. I'll just add those again and we will be good. The main thing that's going to cause you issues is the smart things home monitor transition to the new app. Definitely you want to do the migration as soon as you can do it when you have some time, because you're probably going to have to set some stuff up, check some things, make it sure everything is kind of working. So that is all there is to it to transfer from the classic app to the new app. Um, I'll do another video of all of the issues that I find after the fact, because you're not going to find them until you actually start using everything. But all of my videos from now on will be in the new app. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you get this done before October 14th, 2020. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.